Carl Fussell. I'm the Director of IT here at Santa Clara University. We're the central facility for most of the general technology that goes across campus. The environment is important. There are issues with it, and so why would you not do something that can help if you can? As a university, I think we have a leadership role. Uh, you have students coming here. We have what the President's inauguration brought up, and that's to become a major center for the discussion of environmental justice. These are all things that are, are reasons why we look at this more than we have in the past. We have students who, although it's not commonplace yet, are beginning to look around and see um, and ask questions about the technology they, they see. Can that be turned off at night? These kinds of things. The cost of energy is going up um, on an annual basis. IT consumption of energy, I've seen figures that suggest that IT energy consumption goes up at about 15% a year. Add the increasing cost for that same energy and it becomes very, very expensive. In the past, we've done something called consolidation. That is, can you reduce the overall number of servers that you have down to a smaller number and still meet the business needs? Can you rotate out older servers that are less efficient and replace them with newer servers that are more power efficient? Um, there, you look at power supplies and ratings on servers these days, there are tools such as EP that can help you do these kinds of things uh, to how efficient they are with their management of power. So we can do all of those sorts of things. Probably the biggest thing that we've just begun doing is to target the server environment in our data center. That is a high consumer of power. One of the things that was important in the building that was to follow good practices to try to make that data center as efficient as possible. Design techniques such as hot aisle, cold aisle, uh, intelligent cooling systems that are in there so that when demand doesn't require it, we can switch to more efficient chillers, those types of things to try to reduce uh, the consumption in there. The public systems in this building all turn themselves off about 15 minutes after the building closes and turn themselves on, I think it's about 15 minutes before it opens. But that's a small portion. You get a lot more computers across campus and we're looking at technologies that will allow us to improve that. You can look at modern servers who will do things like um, change the rate at which the electronics in it run because if it's not being heavily utilized you can throttle it back so to speak and uh, this also takes time and energy and resources because it's taking newer technologies to allow us to do those kinds of things um, and so you have to investigate those things you know evaluate them and see what makes sense what's going to work so on and so forth we don't have enough people resources to do everything that we need to do and so human factor or human resources become a real consideration when you've got a lot of things that need doing you have to begin to prioritize and sometimes things take longer um, than you would like them to just because you don't have the manpower to do what you need to. All of these things tend to stretch out the process a bit. But I think it's more a matter of everybody working together to see how can we improve the situation. We need to be responsible to the environment. It's the only planet we have.